Hi guys, welcome to my channel Lush Foliage. I hope you guys are fine and are safe. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about my very beautiful peace lily. Now this is a different variety of peace lily. There are a couple of them. Uh, there are dwarf uh, peace lily as well. I'll put the image on the screen because this is not a dwarf variety. This is the regular variety. But uh, there are a couple of varieties of uh, peace lily and. Uh, there is a variegated version as well which is slightly expensive i think i will purchase it very soon because i love peace lilies the reason why i love peace lily is because of its beautiful flower as you can see this is a very beautiful flower now you might notice something uh, wrong over here you can see this the upper portion is turned slightly dark in color over here and over here now if you're wondering how did this happen now this is because of sunlight so that brings us to the most important part never ever keep your peace lily in direct sunlight not even in morning direct sunlight now the reason why my leaves happen to get burnt over here is because this was placed in a position where it used to get a good amount of indirect bright light but off late uh, the direction of the sun has changed and I was not much worried because it's been very cloudy off late and I had left the plant in the same position but unfortunately on one fine day there was a good amount of morning sunlight for only for one hour and in that just one hour you can see the leaves completely got burnt uh, over here because this is where the sun was falling onto it directly the leaves were folding downwards and wherever the sun happened to uh, fall uh, it completely uh, the leaves got burnt even the flower as well the tip got burnt because of uh, the excess sunlight so it's very important that you do not put this plant in direct sunlight otherwise it will completely get burnt uh, you can see over here as well it got burnt because this is where wherever the sun was um, touching the leaves it started to get burnt now these new leaves did not get burnt because they were not out by then but uh, luckily i noticed this and immediately moved the plant uh, away from there uh, just with morning direct sunlight because the sun's direction is changed and i was not i was not able to calculate how much of uh, direct sunlight it's getting be very very careful that you do not keep this in uh, direct sunlight now talking about the light uh, please do not keep it out in direct sunlight not even for half an hour it has to be completely in indirect bright light uh, you can even grow peace lily in low light conditions as well, uh, in indoor as well as outdoor. Indoor, if you want to keep it uh, in a place where there is not much light, it will do quite well. But the only issue is uh, that it will not flower uh, profusely, how it generally tends to flower. So if you have a place wherein there is not much of light, you can still add your peace lily. But the only thing is that, but the only issue is that the peace lily will not bloom quite often if it is kept in a very low light condition. The leaves will also tend to turn more darker in low light, but the flowers are going to be very less. It's not that it won't bloom. Probably you might only get one bloom, uh, probably two or three months. But if you're going to keep it in indirect bright light, a good amount of bright light, but indirect, you will get a couple of blooms every now and then. Now talking about the soil mix, uh, I have used the same soil mix that I use for all of my plants. It has coco peat, it has sand, it has uh, uh, garden soil. I have already made a video, I'll put the link in the description below how to make the soil mix because as I've said this earlier as well, I tend to use the same soil mix for all of my plants, be it flowering plants or be it foliage plants. Now over here, I'm just recycling. This is one of the container that I had, so it looks pretty ugly, but it's absolutely fine because I love recycling, so I have recycled this uh, paint container i had washed it completely and uh, i have reused it and the plant has been doing quite well uh, the plant is uh, uh, the plant has been with me now for almost uh, 6 to 7 months and it's doing quite well a lot of new growth these are the new leaves that have started to come up so it's doing quite well about fertilizers i don't add a lot of fertilizers only when i tend to see that it has a bloom like this so probably uh, once a uh, once in three weeks i tend to use a little bit of compost tea i do not add too much of organic matter just a little bit and the plant is doing quite well uh, and uh, talking about pest uh, usually they do not get affected with pest but it's always better to check the undertone of the leaves underneath of the leaves if you tend to see any flies or uh, you tend to see any spider mites because usually when uh, it starts to bloom it tends to get attacked with aphids or you might happen to see some of uh, 
the insects beneath the leaves so it's always better to check beneath the leaves ideally these uh, there are these beetles that tend to lay their eggs beneath the leaves so that is one of the issues so you'll have to check uh, you can use any organic solution that you have been using uh, it's a very very fuss free plant you do not need to give a lot of care it does very well in neglect so you can grow it indoor as well you can grow it outdoor as well it does not have much issues it's not a very fussy plant uh, you just give it the required uh, care and it is going to do quite well watering i would say is uh, uh, they prefer a slight moisture in the soil so when you tend to see that uh, two or three inches of the soil is dry you can go ahead and water it or the plant itself will let you know it will start to have very droopy leaves now mine is just recovering from the sunburn so that's why the leaves are slightly droopy but uh, when you tend to see that your leaves are folding downwards that indicates that uh, your uh, peace lily needs water so immediately the leaves will start to come up the moment you are going to add water i'm sure you might have seen a lot of videos on this time lapse videos wherein they are uh, giving water to their peace lily that is completely dehydrated so the moment you are going to add water the leaves will start to perk up so that's all about it it's a very very simple plant uh, to grow so if you want to purchase this plant you can definitely add it in your collection the only thing as i said you have to be careful is the sunlight do not give any amount of sunlight direct sunlight only indirect bright light now the main question is this plant toxic or poisonous yes this plant is toxic and poisonous to humans and pets both so you have to ensure that this plant is kept away from the reach of small children and pets uh, now even after touching this plant uh, it's always better to wash your hands with soap because that's what i'm going to do after this video because i do have sensitive skin so people who have sensitive skin will have a lot of itching or uh, at times you might have this uh, irritation on the skin so it's always better to wash your hand post touching this plant uh, now ideally if the leaves are uh, eaten or if the leaves are ingested it can lead to swelling on the lips and mouth and even the throat which can lead to difficulty in breathing so you have to be very very careful so though if you feel like someone has eaten the leaves or taken a bite of the leaves immediately seek uh, medical attention because otherwise it can be quite dangerous especially when you have difficulties in breathing so guys i hope that this video on peace lily was helpful to you if it was please hit the like button if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing to it until then take care stay safe and keep planting